and so on and so on. Now, the one thing that this uh, software can't give you is rhythm, as you might have noticed by my actions right there. So I'm not pretending that I have great musical abilities, but anyway, it'll give us a sense of how this is working. So what Smart Edit 5 is doing now, it's adding video black to each one of those sound segments, and what we'll find in our edit window is, I know, it is amazing, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Look at this. So here's the segments of that song, and you see the name of the song is there, split up according to where I told it to use a new segment. So there's one that's 2 seconds and 21 frames. There's one that's 1 second and 10 frames, and so on and so on. Oh, look, I have almost identical rhythm right there. So you say, well, wait, that's, that's neat, Chet, but what's this little, you know, attractive, uh, colorful musical note up there? Well, that's a key for us, the customer, when we're working with Smart Edit 5, to know that this special audio sample is encoded so that any time I insert or replace video on top of that, it will automatically trim it to fit the audio. I know, it doesn't seem possible, but take a look. You can see that I've got this Sea Life clip selected down here, which is now 4 seconds and 8 frames and yet the audio segment is 221. Watch this. When I click Replace, it automatically trims it. It keeps the scene from the beginning and trims it from the backside. So if for some reason you had a, an audio clip and maybe you wanted, um, let's go, we got this shot of this grouper here in the aquarium, and maybe we wanted it at a particular location, like we wanted the scene to start there, I would trim it using the trim function and adjust the end point to begin where I wanted it, then when we added that, or rather replaced that, it would encode that and put that new piece up there. So let's just quickly go through here, and you can see that in a very short period of time, you could build a music video that's just really, really attractive. Okay, now it's good that we saw this. You can only insert or replace a scene that is at least as long as a scene in the storyboard. So this is the rest of our clip, three minutes and 35 seconds. And I don't happen to have a long scene. Remember when we cut out of the uh, demonstration just to show you what was happening? That's why we got that warning. So you can't put something that's too short onto something that's longer. So let's go back and play this storyboard and, and see and hear how it came across. And again, there's no accounting for rhythm. So you can see that the software works great, but the uh, end user is something that I need to work on my, my, my rhythm strokes there. So, but isn't that a, just a great feature? And I can think of so many applications where this is great. Maybe you do some long form video and some people say, well, that's not gonna work in a wedding. Yeah, but in the, in the highlights reel, uh, I can see this working in photo montages. I can see this working particularly well in anything where you've got upbeat, up-tempo things like sports videos and highlights videos great new feature available to you in Smart Edit 5. There have been some questions uh, from folks as I've uh, had the good opportunity to get out and show this new feature of Smart Edit 5, and let me address them in case you have some of the same questions. The, uh, this feature is designed specifically to capture the excitement as, as the audio, specifically the music, hits a particular beat, and that's where you want the next scene to occur. Boom, right there where the next beat happens, or the scene, or, or, or you know, how it goes with the music perfectly. Some people have asked about adding transitions, and, and some of the discussion has revolved around, well, yeah, that would, be, that would be cool perhaps, but really, when you're editing to the beat, it's most impactful, most exciting to the audience when the picture changes on the beat and having a transition, a crossfade in there, mutes you know, the, the full impact of having the scene change directly on that beat. There is a way, it's a workaround, there's a you know, several step method to have that occur, and that's available under the support pages on our website, www.macrosystem.us, and you're welcome to look there and, and find out if that's a specific need that you have. Because if I go ahead and add transitions between these, it will change the timing and will change the impact, I think, on that the audience will receive this. Another question that I get asked a lot here is, well, okay, I went and, and, and uh, did the replace function on these scenes, but maybe after I watched it a few times, I realized this second scene, I want something else. Can you change that? And the answer is yes. By simply highlighting a different scene and clicking replace, it will instead 
put that other scene up there on top of that music clip and keep everything else intact. Now, if I chose to come over here and click on the Add button, that will function how Casablanca always works. It will add that scene after that one between those two, not inserting, not with the music. So you want to make sure that you use the Replace function and not Add when you're working with split music to the beat. And it's nice you always know because the developers gave us this little musical note icon here to tell us that's what's happening with that particular scene. Now, it might be useful to you after you've created the sequence to again go back and use the scene function that's available in the three effects windows. Let's you permanently kind of lock in the changes uh, that you've done using this splitting music to the beat function.